um, but we weren't very practicing. We would go to church just a few times a year for Christmas and Easter and the holidays. And God only existed on Sunday in church in my family and not outside of the church. And the, many, many American families are like this. Uh, I've always been a very logical thinker. And when I was about 11 or 12 years old and I started thinking for myself, uh, I asked myself, does God exist? And this question I felt was pushed on me by a clash between science and religion or rationality and religion in America. And I think that tradition goes back to the Christian church in Europe. And there were always issues between the Catholic church and science and uh, advancement. And when I compared what I saw in the Bible and what I knew of the Trinity and the other Christian beliefs compared to science and evolution and evidence, uh, I leaned towards the side of science and I chose not to believe in God. My first exposure to Islam was when uh, my friend in high school became Muslim. And he's also my neighbor, Michael Dan. And when Michael became Muslim, uh, he changed a lot. Before Islam, he was doing a lot of things that were messing his life up and he was really going down the wrong path. And he became Muslim and when he was only 15 and he changed and he left uh, a lot of the things he was doing, he picked up a lot of good habits. And I asked him, what forced you to change? What, you know, what made you change and become like this? And he explained that he's Muslim now. And at that time, this was before September 11th, people in America really don't, didn't know a lot about Islam. And even today, they don't know a lot. And I asked him, you know, what is Islam? Who are Muslims? And he explained to me about Muslims. And I, I was surprised that Islam is very close to Christianity and Judaism. And it made a lot of sense to me that there's one God and there's prophets and messengers, but none of the prophets have divinity. Uh, rather, they're just sent by God and they're humans like us. And I didn't really want to become Muslim at that time, but it just made sense to me logically. After a while, I read a book called The Autobiography of Malcolm X. And in that book, I really uh, appreciated the image that Malcolm X presented of Muslims and I wanted to become Muslim after that because I saw in Islam a solution to racism and a lot of other problems in America but I didn't believe in God uh, however I read a passage where Malcolm X said if you take one step towards God he takes two towards you so I left uh, eating pork and I left some of the things that are prohibited in Islam with the intention that God guide me and I learned more and more about Islam and I was surprised that the more I asked questions, the more answers I found and the answers always made sense to me. And I read about the miracles of the Quran, scientific miracles of the Quran. Uh, and there are many, there are many. I'd like to add that Islam is the most beautiful thing in my life and the source of all goodness. It's a message that every soul finds tranquility with and a sense of purpose and fulfillment and true happiness. And I encourage everyone to take a step towards God. And they'll find that God takes two steps towards them. Because this is a light from Allah. And any way you look at the light, it comes out to be true. And so if you ask questions and you prefer to look at it from science, or from your soul, or from people, go, with it, go whichever way you want. And I'm sure that you will find that this is the message you've always been looking for.